All right, we are up here in the the attic, the Netherlands, and this is my dark room up here. And what I have here is I have this Grale timer, and it's hooked to this uh, ultraviolet uh, LED. This is, this is a thirty, I think a thirty-six watt LED fixture. And what it is, this is uh, ultraviolet, and I think the 425-450 nanometer wavelength. And then that exposes the printed circuit boards. This is the print frame right here. And, this, and that's my artwork right there. That's the glass for the print frame. Then what we have here is the uh, developer. And that's uh, sitting on top of a, a heater, a uh, therm thermodyne heater. And then here's the etchant etch tank here. This is a bubble etcher. And I guess that's about it. Now, to calibrate this uh, exposure time, I made up this uh, artwork here, and it consists of a lot of uh, thin lines. And what I'm going to do, I made some tick marks along the side here, and I'm going to put this piece of paper here like this. And then every 15 seconds, I'm going to move this down like that. Well, I guess a total of two minutes because I don't I, I think uh, it'll be fully exposed in two minutes and then I can see what the optimum exposure time is using this LED uh, uh, ultraviolet lamp Okay, I know this is kind of hard to see, but I can kind of, I can see lines there where I, I uh, move that paper at certain times, and it looks like the best uh, the best time was the shortest time or the next to the shortest time. As you can see there, and after that, they kind of just get uh, well, they're ab absolutely overexposed here. Okay, I have to put this under the microscope and determine what how this worked out best. But I could definitely see some changes there, though. Well, okay, this looks pretty good. Nice and clean. Perfect. Great. This pick and place machine burned down. I'm not quite sure why, but the stepper motors burned up on it. I normally do leave it on for extended periods of time, for days and days. But I'm not sure if it was a power failure, power cycling or something, or, or what. But two of the stepper motors burned up, along with the stepper motor driver board, too. Strange, because this thing's been operating for months. But... Uh, the motors were burned up. I had to replace the motors. So while I was replacing the motors, I decided that I was going to uh, redo the wiring as well because uh, I had, it had grown a rat's nest around it and, and now that I know all the features I want on it I was able to just uh, just redo the wiring to, to fully more fully accommodate the, uh, the new features and, and, and how I knew it was going to turn out to be so here's a, let's take a look at some, some of this stuff here this is much neater Now I got a nice long cord. Before this cord was very short, but now it goes. It's like eight feet long now. So now I don't have have to have everything all clustered on my workbench. 
That's the uh, solenoid valve for the vacuum there, for the picking place portion, which I'm not demonstrating at this point. There's the there's the uh, the wire harness for that x-axis there for the y-axis the z-axis here. Everything's much much nicer now I think. Here's the uh, stepper motor driver board that one caught on fire Hope the board's not messed up. It's kind of a, it's kind of burned right here. There, I have some of these chips. Hopefully, I can replace that, replace that chip, and uh, we use this board. It's not the easiest thing to replace. It's best to cut all these off instead of trying to solve solve them. Cut them off and then, then take them off. Then take this heat sink off. Oh well, let me get another one. And uh, I have to be more careful because this is this is the last one I take it I have, and it take a month to come from China, and of course they cost money too. So let me get another one. We're back to work. And it looks like this is the culprit here. This uh, stepper motor. I didn't I didn't even know that uh, they would go bad really, but apparently this one became shorted, and. Uh, caused my uh, stepper motor driver board to catch fire but I just thought as long as I'm throwing this thing out that uh, we take a look at it maybe maybe uh, you haven't seen what's inside of them that's the back plate there these are the coils in there this is the armature It has bearings in there. I think this one has a five millimeter shaft, so five millimeter bearing, five millimeter bearing on this side. Then here's inside. The coils are on the outside. So I guess it's not like, and you can smell it. You know, it's hard to tell. So much burning smell around here now. This is a magnet. These don't look burned. In fact, they don't look like they're overheated at all. I would expect them to be black. I don't know. So who knows, it may be a good idea to every now and then just redo your project. To take advantage of what you've learned. Let's take a look at the new stepper motors. This one, one of the new stepper motors there. They're larger than the other ones. Probably a third longer than the other ones, but I haven't seen any difference as far as uh, like anything speed or anything or power or whatever. I'm not I'm not seeing any difference, but I haven't pushed it to its limits either. So. But anyway, that's it. Now he's nice and neat, and he's back to work.